I want to jump on here because I'm making a protein box and I want to show you guys how super simple this is. Y'all, protein boxes are so easy to make and they're great for literally anything. Hey friends, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. It's your girl Belle. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen here. I live right outside St. Louis, Missouri and it's a Wednesday. It's about 9.45. I'm heading out of here in about 15 minutes, but I want to jump on here because I'm making a protein box and I want to show you guys how super simple this is. So as you are popping on, say hey, say hi. Y'all, protein boxes are so easy to make and they're great for literally anything. I'm going to take a drink of this too. I drink ketones and so I haven't had ketones yet and I'm going to drink this right here. Hold on. Protein boxes can be literally taken anywhere. Now, I started making protein boxes because I am a mom of two and both of my kids play high level sports all over. We travel the country over the summer. In two months, we were in seven states and stayed in hotels 27 nights. We're busy. That's no excuse for not staying on plan. Now, sometimes I use that as an excuse. Like if we go somewhere and they have like food that is special to their area or a really good restaurant, somebody's like, you have to try it. Uh, of course, I'm gonna try it. But most of the time, the focus is to just Make better food choices, set yourself up for success, and get rid of the excuses. If that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for somebody like that to kind of help you along the way, I'm your girl. I'm Lazy Keto. All right, so Lazy Keto is all about eliminating versus tracking. So we eliminate bread, pasta, and rice, processed foods like chips, crackers, cereal, and we eliminate raw sugar, and we focus on protein, veggies, fruits, and fats. So I was able to lose 100 pounds of fat in eight months, and I did that following Lazy Keto. I will tell you that if your main goal is fat loss, you wanna to stick to green vegetables and you wanna to stick to berries because they're the lowest in carbs and sugars. But at the end of the day, fruits and vegetables really aren't our problems. Just make sure you're eating them. A lot of times when people switch to keto, especially lazy keto, the first thing that they kind of get rid of is fruits and vegetables because if you Google online, I get it. Like it says that carbs are in peas and carrots and apples. There's like high carbs and sugars and peaches and watermelon, but like, that's natural. You want to get rid of the fake stuff. You want to get rid of the processed foods. You want to stick to protein, veggies, fruits, and fats. So hopefully that makes sense. I know it can be super confusing. When you sit down and you eat, you just have to ask yourself, does my plate contain bread? Does my plate contain pasta or rice? Does my plate contain anything processed? Croutons, tortilla strips, crackers, cookies. Do I have real fake sugar on here or am I using sugar-free stuff? If you can answer no to all of that, then you're under that lazy keto umbrella and then you can just eat. I always like to say eat until your little heart's desired, but like also be mindful about it. Hopefully that, like I said, makes sense. If you have questions, let me know. This is what I'm making my protein box out of. I got this on Amazon. You can take these little guys out to make your spaces a little bit bigger, but I'm just gonna take little snacky foods that I like that fall under the Lazy Keto umbrella and make myself a little snack box. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because my nephews are going and I'm sure they're gonna wanna snack on some stuff too. And so I'm just gonna make it so that everybody can enjoy it because it's kid friendly. That's what's so cool about Lazy Keto and the way that I do things is it's literally kid friendly too. Got this like I said on Amazon. It's been like about two years. I don't have the link for like the exact one, but you guys get the, get the idea, right? Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna take is, I made Kyla some, she likes salami, salami on like Hawaiian rolls for lunch. So I usually cut up the salami and then I just quarter it and put it on her bread. But I'm gonna start with that, I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. So I've got like three pieces of salami that I quartered up and I'm gonna put there. I'm also gonna do pepperoni. I love pepperoni. I could eat pepperoni all the time. I think the boys will probably like pepperoni too. I think I'm gonna cut these. Just like the salami because just easier to grab and go. So, got the pepperoni, and we're gonna stick it right here. All right, super easy, right? I also have these chomp meat sticks. I do post a lot where I tell you guys to, like, even take lazy keto approved food options, like bacon, snack sticks, stuff like that, and still flip it over and look at the ingredients because sometimes stuff like meat sticks has a whole bunch of hidden ingredients and it makes it higher in carbs. So Chomps is like a new brand that came out this year and all of their meat sticks are really good. So they're zero sugar, 90 calories per stick, nine grams of protein, super tasty. And so we're gonna take this chopstick. I took two of them and we're just gonna cut it up into little pieces. All right, so we got three types of meat, sauce, sausage, salami, pepperoni, and little meat sticks, okay? 
Um, the next thing we're gonna do is cheese. So I like, I like these little easy, convenient, little cut up snack trays from Walmart. Some people don't like to pay for them, but I like them. So I'm just gonna take a little handful and I'm gonna put them right there. Because it's a pepper jack, the boys probably won't like it. I'm gonna cut up, I'm actually probably gonna cut up three of these. Toby, stop it. I'm gonna cut up three of these little cheese sticks. I'm gonna cut them into thirds. Super simple, super easy. Is this something that you guys could like benefit from if you were going out? What kinds of things do you guys do that, that this would be good for? It's good for road trips. It's good for ball games. It's great for the zoo. Food at the zoo is terrible. And so expensive and it's actually gonna be really fast today. So there's probably going to be some school field trips. And so that's okay. We're just gonna be a little patient. So now I have two types of cheese. The next thing we're gonna add, I'm gonna do some smoky barbecue pistachios. Yeah, I actually recorded a video I'm gonna post um, maybe later today or tomorrow, but I was looking at the back of some nut containers. So yeah, awesome for the drive-in movies and the park. Yep, so there's my pistachios. Actually, hold on you guys. The boys would like the pistachios and I also have just plain like unseasoned just slightly salted. So I think I'm gonna put them on the other side. Um, but I what I was gonna say. But yeah, so there we go. So we got honey roasted barbecue, not honey roasted, smoky barbecue. Oh, I know what I was saying, because it's honey roasted. I was looking at the bacon onions, these onion tubes, and um, there was a new one out of them. I saw it's a blueberry flavor on it. When I flipped it over, the part count on those was like over 10. So I was like, well, we're not getting that. Okay, but yeah, so just like be careful and things like that. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up some cucumbers. So little bite-sized cucumbers. So I was telling you guys yesterday on my grocery store grocery store haul, you can take um, little mini cucumbers or any kind of cucumbers and you can put them in a Ziploc baggie and toss it with some dry ranch powder and they'll gain a little bit more flavor. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, but I do that for snacks a lot when I make little baggies. Um, but yeah, see, look. Now we got some cucumbers. All right. And then I'm gonna take this out. And then in this little area over here, I'm gonna add blueberries. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna add those blueberries. Hold <laughs> on. Those might be old blueberries. I thought that I had some. Oh, yeah, I did. In my salad yesterday. Those blueberries, those blueberry, blueberries were like little shriveled up, soft blueberries. All right, so then we've got our blueberries. Doesn't this look great, you guys? So easy. And it's like not even, doesn't even take very long to like make either. Uh, when I was looking in the pantry, I saw that I had one of these in there. Lily's chocolate chips are sugar free. They are expensive, but these things will last you, like one whole candy bar can last you a whole week. I used to be the one who would um, eat like whole Hershey's bars at one time, and I taught myself to be a little bit more disciplined, but they're a little, um, they're little bite-sized pieces, and so I'm just going to take, and I'm gonna put some in here, like that. All right. So we've got that, and then I've got one little spot left, but I don't think I'm gonna put anything in there. I actually think I might take a napkin and roll up a napkin and put it in there so that I have a little napkin for when I'm done. And there we go. There is our high protein, little lazy keto approved snack box that I'm gonna take to the zoo. Um, I'm actually gonna do a couple napkins because the boys are kinda young. Okay, and then you just close it up, and we're good to go. How cool is that, you guys? Perfect for the zoo today. And then I'm gonna throw it in a little soft cooler. It'll fit in my cooler. Um, and I'm gonna put a couple bottles of water in there. Probably more than a couple. I'll probably put like four or five bottles of water in there. And I'll have this, and then I'll probably just throw in some bags of chips for the boys and maybe some fruit snacks. Just that they have a little bit extra to like snack on, but I'm gonna share this with them. So awesome, right? And like this, you can take it to lunch, you 
can take it to ball games, you can take it on a road trip, you can take it to the zoo, you can take it to the drive-in. You don't always have to keep it lazy keto. Like you can do half of it with kid-friendly foods, you can do the other half for you, you can add candy corn, you can do whatever you want. And it's super easy, easy to clean, um, easy to store, and easy to fill. So that's my high protein snack box that I made with you guys today. So if you love it, let me know. If you make one, let me know. And um, I'm gonna jump off here because I need to leave. I actually need to be leaving like right now. Um, but I gotta go get my hair done and uh, put a little bit more makeup on. And then get that little soft cooler packed up, but yeah. So, and then I was just gonna put these like over here in a little container I have with medicine um, so that when we get back and I wash it and put it back together, then it's good to go. So, hopefully you guys have a great day. I'm gonna be in and out all day today. Um, we, uh, we have a really busy week, and my brother's in town from Arizona, his uh, wife, their two boys, um, and we've got a lot of stuff planned. Tomorrow, we have softball and football. Friday is kind of low-key, we might have softball. Uh, it's supposed to pour down rain all day. Saturday, we have homecoming. My brother and my son are going to Six Flags with everyone. Um, Sunday, we're hosting a football party, so we're just rocking and rolling through this week. But I wanted to come on and show you guys this, because just because we have all this stuff going on, doesn't mean that you always have to be off-plan, and it's all about good balance. We're cheating this week. I had Emo's Pizza last night, which is a local pizza place. But I will tell you, I'm super proud of myself. I had three pieces of pizza, three toasted ravioli, and two mozzarella sticks. That's all I had. The old Mel would have like, it would have been way worse. But um, because I set myself up for success, I drank extra ketones, I got my walk in, I drank water. Um, you know, I didn't feel like I needed to gorge myself, and I didn't. So now we're back, back to good choices today. And then tomorrow we'll see what brings. The day brings. But anyways, I gotta go, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.